Hi, this is Bob Williams with Sifter Parts and Service. This is our CS1 double discharge sifter, which is actually our test sifter out of the lab that we had out of the trade show that has some unique features on it. We also make this sifter in a four spout hopper for doing multiple separations. This particular sifter has a plexiglass top on it which is why we use it in the lab and it'll also give you an idea of how the product goes through a sifter. You can see by looking at the sifter before we take it apart that the gaskets seal very tightly against the screen all the way around the unit and that the screen itself has balls and cubes in it to keep it from blinding. The product goes through the screen and goes off to either side and drops directly down into the hopper where it then comes out. The overs will come across the second screen and drop out the opposite side of the sifter. This unit can have seven decks stacked on it for a total of 35 square feet of cloth. The more screen area or cloth area you have, the more capacity you can get through the sifter. This particular sifter will handle up to about 48,000 pounds. We're going to start the sifter up here. We've just got it bolted down to a skid. It operates at 265 RPM. This particular sifter has a variable speed drive on it so we can slow it down. We do sell this sifter with a variable speed drive so that you can de-dust product or put product in it like cookies where you want to separate out the large cookies from the dust and very gently handle the product so that you don't break it up. We're going to take the sifter apart now and show you the ease at which you can change the screens. We'll have Susan and Jerry just take off the bolts on the hold down rods. And we'll get these off here. I don't find it. Okay. Okay, just take that off. And what we'll do is lift the top cover off here. We're outside of our warehouse, so we've got a little truck noise and things like that. This is an all metal sifter with stainless steel screens in it. The insert frames lift out very easily so you can change from one product to another. We've got stainless steel pans so that when the product goes through the screen into the pan and right down into the hopper you've got a nice clean easy sifter to maintain. To put the screens back in all you do is slide the insert frame back in. We'll put the cover back on it and the gaskets will seal around all four corners, four sides. We'll put the hold down rods on it, tighten them down, and then we'll run some product through it. Okay, what we're going to attempt to do now is dump in a bag of flour and a bag of coffee beans. We're outside and it's a little windy and we don't have the sifter sealed on the bottom to a, a discharge device so we're liable to get a little flour moving around but we should be able to see the flour go through the sifter. Let's turn the sifter on and Jerry if you can dump in the flour and Susan if you can jump in the beans
Put the bag right in it, Jerry. Just dump it right in. And we're getting the flour out the good side. The flour has gone through the sifter and the coffee beans are staying on top. The coffee beans will eventually work themselves over the sifter down through the second deck and come out the discharge. And we've got nice clean flour through the sifter with no coffee beans in it. Coffee beans are gradually working their way across the deck. If we had more product going through it, it would push the beans off faster. And basically after about a minute and a half, we're getting the beans that worked their way all the way through the sifter and are coming out the overs. Can you hold that up a little bit, Susan? getting coffee beans all over. And we've got absolutely no flour in with the coffee beans, so we've had sufficient time going across the screen to separate all the flour from the overs and not get any carry through. We can also do this with more capacity by adding more decks to it. Turn off. By varying the speed though, we can de-dust product, we can sift product, we can scalp product. The other thing that we can add to the sifter is the plexiglass top if you want to look in and be able to see your top screen. This makes it real easy for maintenance to keep track of tears or rips in the screen. If we can be of any further assistance to you, please feel free to call the 800 number, 1-800-367-3591. Thank you.